Hello and welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Jessa Jeremiah, your host. We've got a fabulous show for you today. We're going to do some spotlights on local businesses. We've got a news partner stopping by the studio. And right now, as you may have guessed, we are talking about Capital Canines. I'm joined by Officer Jim Donnell and board member Julie Tesmer. Thanks for being with us today. Mm, thanks for having us. Glad to have you. And of course, we'll introduce the canine. So this is Canine Cranny, is that Correct. Right? So cute. You probably shouldn't say that about a police dog, but I can't <laughs> help it. I uh, love having the dog on set. Let's talk a little bit about Capital Canines and what they really do for the unit. Sure. Capital Canines is a nonprofit organization. We, were, we started in 2004, and we raise all the funds for the dogs. So the purchase of the dogs, their training, <coughs> equipment, the specially designed police cars, food, veterinary, everything that goes into having a police dog. Wow. So that's, that sounds like a lot of funding needed, I would imagine. It's uh, you know, certainly a needed service, but cert likely an expensive one. So let's talk a little bit about how people can donate and help. Sure, so uh, a lot of people reach us through our website, which is capitalk9s.org, uh, or Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We have a number of fundraisers throughout the year. Our signature event is called the Dog Paddle which is at the Goodman Pool the second uh, weekend of September, where the dogs get to come and play in the water and, and uh, swim and chase tennis balls and have a great time. Wow, what a nice event. And I'm curious, now this is not the only dog in the department, so let's talk about how many dogs there are and really what they're trained to do. Sure, do you want um, to take that one? Yeah, sure, we have eight dogs on the department. Um, seven of which are called uh, dual purpose dogs, which means they do the tracking, um, the finding people that are hiding in buildings, the narcotics, um, all that other fun stuff. And then we have one dog that's dedicated strictly to uh, bomb work, so, and that one does explosives, and that's our newest dog, Canine Carl. Wow, okay, so lots of dogs with certain specialties, <coughs> and I'm curious then, obviously they're not always on duty, so where do they live, and then what happens when they're no longer working? Well, they live with us, so they come to work with us every day. They go home with us every day. So she is with me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I, I see her more than I see my family. So, um, <laughs> you know, so, and, and once they retire, um, this is my second dog. I had a dog previous to this. And once they retire, they basically just live at home as pets. I mean, it, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing how they transition to the home life, um, yeah. you know, at, at home. She knows when she's at work, she knows when she's at home, and when she's at home, she's just a pet. You know, my kids play with her, the neighborhood kids come over and play with her, and, and uh, she's just a dog at home, so. Well, she knows when to clock in and clock out. <laughs> she definitely does. <laughs> Smart pup. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the breeds of canines, and I'm sure there are breeds that are more <coughs> specialized towards doing something like this, and also how they understand you. Um, well, breed-wise, typically in, in law enforcement, Come on. <laughs> Off. Um, typically in law enforcement, you'll see either German Shepherds, Belgian Malinois, and some Dutch Shepherds. Um, our department right now, we have, out of the eight dogs, seven of them are German Shepherds, and then we have one that's a Belgian Malinois. Quiet. Um, so, so, and the interesting thing is, as far as is how we communicate with them, is, uh, is typically you can tell by where, where the dog came from by the language they're spoken in. Um, so we have dogs that are from that came from Germany as puppies that, that their commands are in German. We have some that are Czech, Czech Republic where they came from, so their commands are in Czech. Um, so their languages are all different throughout our department right now, depending on where that dog actually came from. Wow, that's really interesting. Well, obviously uh, dogs are doing a lot of great work here in the community. So I absolutely urge you to help out and donate. And again, Julie, share with folks where they can get more information about Capital Canines. Sure. If you uh, go to Facebook, we have a presence there. We put up a lot of photos with the dogs and the different activities that they're involved in. And then, of course, our website is capitalcanines.org. Wonderful. Well, thanks again for sharing. Officer Jim Donnell, Canine Cranny, and Julie Tesmer, thanks for being with us. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching. We've got more Talk of the Town coming up right after the break.